Hello, this is Exponents and Radicals, the Pythagorean Theorem, Example 1. In uh, Example 1, we have to figure out the unknown side length, and here the unknown side length is A. And we'll do this using the Pythagorean Theorem, and uh, the Pythagorean Theorem uh, is uh, A squared plus B squared equals C squared. The most important thing about this, uh, using this theorem, is that you have the hypotenuse labeled correctly. The hypotenuse is, is usually labeled C. The hypotenuse is the longest side. It's the side that's opposite the right angle. So the hypotenuse will never be touching the right angle. The hypotenuse touches these two acute angles, but not the... Um, the right angle, and a student showed me that a way to always figure out the hypotenuse is to connect those two corners, and then it will always point toward the hypotenuse. So as long as you've done that correctly, then uh, plugging um, these numbers in is uh, very straightforward. I'm going to be substituting 6 for B and 7 for C. So, getting this ready for substitution. And now I'll put a 6 in for the B and a uh, 7 in for the C. And A squared plus 6 times 6 is 36. 7 times 7 is 49. So um, now I subtract 36 from both sides. And a squared equals 13. And the last thing I do is take the square root of both sides. We need a equals. And um, <coughs> Uh, as we've been learning in the previous sections, a, the square root of a squared is a, and the square root of 13 is the square root of 13. And uh, the question didn't say to show the answer uh, rounded to the nearest tenth or anything, so uh, square root of 13 is fine.